So Bray Wyatt has won his title, second title reign, has won his second title reign, has achieved his second title reign in WWE, the Universal title, for the first time he won that title. Has a very small lineage, so I doubt he won it before. He beat Seth Rollins. He's going to move. Seth Rollins was getting a lot of heat. The media didn't like him. He went from the guy who was having all these IC title matches with, like, uh, a Miz and stuff in Mania, like tearing down the house, burning it down, to this guy who people don't like on social media. People forget that he used to be really hot when he did the rated R edge thing, beating people at Money in the Bank. He had this feud against, like, Triple H that worked out pretty well. I actually think that he, he got overblown about keeping KFAB and saying that AEW was in minor leagues. Like, he, he was right. It's better to be, like, create controversy. I see a problem with that. Um... I heard all the stuff he said on Twitter wasn't as good vote, but I haven't investigated it. The Fiend is popular. The Fiend mask. The Fiend merchandise. I mean, Bray Wyatt was popular before. So that's my second thing. Bray Wyatt was popular before. So how do we not know that they're going to just drop him after a month? Also, they just had Hell in the Cell, which is pretty badly perceived. I didn't see the match. I hear people annoyed about the red lights. I... Bray Wyatt. Um, they could drop the ball. They already dropped the ball on him as a fiend, as Bray Wyatt against Randy Orton, as the Wyatt family. They've destroyed Braun Strowman. Might as well bring that up now, who is in the Wyatt family. They pushed him for like five freaking years. He jobbed out the Tyson Fury by count out. They couldn't like DQ him or something like. I was here Tyson Fury can't wrestle. And I was like, that's terrible. Like, you built him up for so many years. And the fans got behind him. I wasn't one of those fans. But you can't have him, like, get buried after that. So, like, it shows you, like, they have no long-term plans for anybody. And, like, they can get away with it. Because, like, Attitude Era stuff only lasts, like, four or five years. So it shows you, like... Their window span with how long term they're planning. Unlike with NJPW with their super long term plans. What are your thoughts like I'm scribe?